A very warm welcome to all my mommy friends. Success. This word means different things to different people. But as responsible parents, you and I are constantly thinking about how we can impart life skills and what life skills we must impart to our children who are going to face this extremely complex, globalized and rapidly changing world of today. The World Economic Forum has a list of life skills that you and I can impart to our children. But the point that stands out amongst these recommendations by the World Economic Forum is that life skills can be imparted to children as young as two and three years of age. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, the period from zero to five is extremely critical because during this time, the brain develops at its maximum potential. So if you start early teaching your child life skills, you are actually setting the stage for your child to arrive at an experience in life well equipped. My own research around life skills landed me on a brilliant piece of work by Daniel Siegel and Tina P. Their work around neuroscience unearthed certain gems that allowed me to do my groundwork before I could inculcate life skills in my child. Here in this video, I am sharing that groundwork with you. I am talking to you about integrated brain. An integrated brain is nothing but teamwork that happens because the various parts of the brain work together as a team to formulate some kind of an outcome. Now when your child learns to draw upon experiences from these different parts of the brain that are unique in their function, the experience is more fulfilling and life skills just flow naturally. Let me introduce you to two concepts in this regard the left brain right brain concept and the stairway in the brain concept. Daniel Siegel proposed dividing the brain into a left and a right side. These two sides are connected structurally by nerve fibers and this is the basic hardware of the brain. The software is what we install and is in fact the child's ability to integrate the different parts of the brain in thought while dealing with an experience in life. Experiment. So you do all in your world that just experiment all the people in their world. So what should I do, Shriya, if I'm feeling sad? What should I remember? You have to risk you have to talk to the people and respect them. Oh, okay. And you have to challenge them with a new skill. The right brain is all about experience and it fosters creativity, imagination, perception of non-verbal communication, insight, intuition, etc. The left brain is all about order. It fosters logic, analysis, language, reading and writing, sequences, abstract thinking, etc. Simply put, the left brain pays more attention to detail and the right brain focuses on the big picture. Siegel gave us the model of a two-storied house where the downstairs brain resides on the bottom floor and is responsible for functions like breathing, blinking, impulse control, emotions like fear, anger, frustration, etc. The upstairs brain resides on the top floor which is responsible for complex functions such as planning, execution, order, empathy, understanding, self-control, etc. A stairway connects the two floors and establishes communication between the upstairs brain and the downstairs brain. I'd like to say that a child needs a balance of 
both the right as well as the left brain. A little bit of emotion, creativity, imagination and some order, logic to it can make this whole experience about life very fulfilling and beautiful. At the same time, if we come to think of it, what would happen if the child was devoid of the right brain? The child will become rigid and have no connect to any sort of emotion. Similarly, if the child disconnected himself or herself from logic, he or she would be flooded with emotion. So you see, you do need a balance. So how could you as a parent help your child arrive at an experience with an integrated brain approach? Connect and redirect. Connecting with your own right brain and sharing your calm can allow the child to be more receptive when you redirect. To redirect, use your left brain and impart logic, structure and order to your child's experience. Avoid lecturing and keep redirection short and to the point. Connect with the upstairs brain without disturbing the downstairs brain. Provide options, device plans together. Allow some room for negotiation. Focus on the child's need and not the behavior. Use it or lose it. Avoid making decisions on your child's behalf. Giving an opportunity to make his or her own decisions may mean inviting the upstairs brain to weigh one alternative over another. Empathy. Assist your child in understanding the world from another individual's perspective by vividly describing what the other person may be feeling. An integrated brain is the need of the hour and exactly what our children need to master some basic and advanced life skills. empowered you with all this information that I have presented and you wish to know a little more in detail please visit the link to my blog that I have attached here with in the description box below thank you so much for watching